Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the white cement fours that we recently got like a, a good look on. So if you take a look at them here, um, it's a good looking shoe. I mean, like the, the red's essentially just an accent color with some black as an accent as well. I think it's a pretty good looking shoe. It's got the Jordan logo on the back. Uh, I mean, it's it's clean. I mean, like, obviously, it's got your cement speckle, but within the red. Uh, how much is retail? I believe it's 210 I haven't bought Jordan 4s in a while. Yeah, so it's 210 It's going to be releasing on uh, September 9. It's super clean. Do I think it's going to resell? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Right now, like, Jordan 4s are sitting... I'm surprised that Thunder Jordan 4 sat. I still think there's a possibility of, of a hold opportunity there though. Um, but again, it's just like, we're, we're in such a weird market. But here's the thing though, right? Most white Jordan 4s with accent colors do tend to do really well in the long, t in, in the long run, right? I think like people will probably look for the fire red fours and be like oh it's a little too expensive and then this will be like that default option so i could potentially see it reselling i'm gonna I'll, I'll keep you guys updated as we get closer to the drop so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button uh, and feel free to like uh, you know remind me like two weeks before with the comment be like hey like have you spoken about like your resale prediction for for these jordan fours but i could see them doing like 240 250 and if it's at 240, that might be a good like hold opportunity. Um, the only thing is like these do kind of remind me of like bootlegs uh, from like back in the day. But I think they're clean. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of people are going to I I do think it's going to sell out. I mean, I feel like it will sell out. It's one of those shoes that like you can't go wrong with just because it's mostly a white upper. Like me, I, I bought like the metallic purple. I don't know if y'all remember when that came out. It wasn't reselling. It wasn't at the time, right? Like the Jordan 4 hype hadn't like taken off. Like it wasn't like a thing yet. Um, or starting to be, but not really. So those sat, those sat for retail. I literally just threw it in my storage unit, forgot about them. Came back to them like a year, two years later. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> how to get up to the 400s, you know? And then I, I feel like this is probably one of those shoes. So I would potentially look to hold a couple pairs of these. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm still, I'm, I'm doing the same thing with, um, with uh, the, the Thunders and GS sizing. And that's the thing. Uh, most, most floors actually do better with grade school sizing. Uh, but it might've been because of the hype, but we will wait and see. Let me know your thoughts of the shoe in the comments. I know it's super early. Like we're still in July talking about a shoe that comes out in September. Uh, but I think it's cool. It's it's dope. I mean, it's dropping right around the time when school starts, right? This might be people's go to like go to back, go back to school sneaker. Uh, it's exciting. I mean, I'm excited for this drop. I, I even if you could make like 20, 30 bucks on on each pair, like you might be able to get like 10, 15 of these and it'll be a good day. So I think this is a reseller's dream as long as the market doesn't do anything crazy the way it's been like doing uh, other Jordan 4s so far. Let me know your thoughts. And again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next video.